What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Special K, Kel Brook, calls out Terrence Bud Crawford, undefeated WBO, former three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, and currently recognized widely as the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport of boxing, Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, there has been some uh, a lot of reports and a lot of talks regarding the fight between Terrence Crawford and Kell Brook. Even legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO, uh, Bob Arum, who promotes uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, stated that that's a strong possibility that they'll make this fight happen. Uh, with that said, you know, after uh, Terrence Crawford defeated Amir King Kong, former world champion, former multi-division world champion, and countryman, fellow countryman of Kell Brook and rival of a fight that never took place. Kell Brook attended the fight with Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan immediately following. Uh, Kell Brook stated that he wanted to fight with Terrence Crawford, uh, but he said that he could make the welterweight uh, limit 147 pounds. Um, Ter uh, Kell Brook had been campaigning at 154 pounds, the junior middleweight weight limit, and he said he could make the 147 pound weight limit. Now, uh, and then uh, shortly after, he stated that he struggles to make the weight, so it will have to be at a catch weight or at 54, which sort of fight uh, go by the wayside. Now, Kell Brook is upset that uh, there's a strong possibility that Terrence Bud Crawford could be facing former 8th Division World Champion, legendary boxer, legendary Filipino superstar, currently the WBA welterweight world champion, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. It seems like there's a strong indication that this fight is going to take place. As we see, 4th Division uh, former world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Mikey Garcia, has been told and informed that he will not be getting the fight with Manny Pacquiao as he announced. And he says that it looks like Manny Pacquiao is going in the direction of facing Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, so Kel Brook is campaigning saying, give me the opportunity, right? So he took to social media and he says, I love the idea of me fighting Terrence Crawford. I can make the weight at 147 pounds. Uh, he said, make the fight happen already, mate. So it seems like Kel Brook, you know, uh, is campaigning. He wants Ter Terrence Crawford to choose him over Manny Pacquiao. And that's just not realistic. Manny Pacquiao is a legend in the sport of boxing. Uh, Kel Brook is a superstar in the sport of boxing. There's a difference. Manny Pacquiao is still relevant. Manny Pacquiao is still a world champion. Manny Pacquiao just defeated two young hungry boxers in uh, former uh, four division world champion Adrian the Problem Broner. Then he beat undefeated former unified welterweight world champion superstar boxer and Keith One Time Thurman, right? In a fight that people thought was a 50 50 and some even favored. Uh, Keith Thurman to win the fight. Manny Pacquiao turned back the, t the, hit, the clock. Uh, he's uh, on the wrong side of 40. And he's still uh, uh, showing dominance within the sport. He's a legend, right? And uh, there's people that feel like he's going to dominate Terrence Crawford. I'm not one of them. I think that Terrence Crawford going to win the fight. But And on top of it, Manny Pacquiao represents a mega payday, right? Uh, so it's not even close in what direction Terrence Crawford should and would and needs to go in. And that's Manny Pacquiao. Kell Brook had his opportunity. Kell Brook played around and danced around and said that he could make the weight. Then uh, two weeks later, he said he can't make the weight. Then two weeks later, he said he can make the weight. Then you get his promoter, Matro CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, coming out and saying that Kell Brook needs at least six, seven months to make the weight. So it's just not realistic. just doesn't look like a true possibility unless negotiations fall by the wayside with Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. Kell Brook is, is uh, on the outside looking in, point blank and period. And I feel like, you know, he's, look, he's, he's understanding that with everything taking place, he's missing his opportunity. He can't land a big fight with Amir Khan because Amir Khan just refused to, to grace the square circle with his presence. Uh, and um, there's not he, he's been calling out a rematch for, with uh, unified welterweight superstar WBC IBF world champion Errol, Errol the True Spence Jr. who defeated him in the UK and took the IBF belt. You know, he's been campaigning for that fight. You know, uh, he's been campaigning for the big fights and rightfully so. But Kell Brook needs to fight a guy like Keith Thurman. Maybe fight a Jerron Ennis. Maybe fight, you know, Yodanis Ugas, right? Uh, Sean, Sean Porter rematch. 
you know, I don't know how much Sean Porter would be interested in that rematch, seeing as though Kell Brook doesn't have a title. Um, but, you know, who's who knows, right? But with that said, he's campaigning for his position and he's upset. It seems that Terrence Crawford is going in a different direction, and rightfully so. Kudos to Terrence Crawford. So, let's see how this all plays out and unfolds. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.